Hey, what's up everybody? This is Quet, and today we're going to be doing a video on a Cold War Kata. We're going to try to get this done uh, pretty quickly. I've done this Kata a while ago, or I did this Kata a while ago. I'm just kind of going to go over the solution that I used, and I'll also uh, kind of theorize some other ways that you can do this that I haven't exactly done yet. Essentially what we're doing is we're going to have a function is going to intake a number every natural number leading up to that number um, If it's divisible by three or five, we're going to go ahead and somehow uh, Store that and then we're going to add all of those numbers together and return that value um, so Let's just kind of just jump into it. So we have this function solution I'm just gonna rewrite it as a arrow function because that's what I like so um, it's going to take in a number. I'm actually just going to change this to n because let's keep so it's later. So um, so the way that I did this in the past is I created a variable called sum and set that to zero, and I used a for loop here. Now I know I just did a video on higher order functions and using for each in a map. I consider it just kind of redoing this before I brought it to you all, but honestly, I didn't quite know how to do it. I, I knew, you know, take the number, put it in an array, iterate over it. I wasn't quite sure on how to iterate over the range of the number from just using the number. I'm sure I could have Googled and kind of figured out the best way to do that. And I, I it just seemed like a lot. <laughs> you know, when you have a solution sometimes, um, just go with what you have. You don't always have to use higher order functions. I would as often as I could, but sometimes you just go with what you have. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to do a for loop and I'm going to let I equal three. Now I'm starting at three because obviously one, well, we don't want to use zero. Um, I don't think that's an actual number. I haven't done math in a long time. So, um, that's not an actual number and one and two are divisible by three. We're only worried about numbers that's divisible by, uh, what is it, uh, three or five. So we're gonna start at three. And then if I is less than number, we're gonna continue the code that we're gonna write here. And then we're gonna add one to I. All right. Next thing we're gonna do, um, this is a quick if else statement. Uh, we're just gonna use the if. We're gonna say if i is modulus three, or if i modulus three equals zero, or i modulus five equals zero, we're gonna return something. So let me finish getting this set up. So essentially what I've written, written so far is we're gonna do a for loop that's gonna start at three and it's gonna iterate until it, um, it's equal to the number that we're inputting at n. And then we're going to uh, add one to i. And here in the if statement, if um, i is modulus three, um, so essentially i um, in this, uh, what is it, division sign, percentage sign. So uh, if this percentage sign, um, that means modulus in JavaScript and, when you run that, if you say a number, let's say five modulus three, that's going to return uh, two. So it, it divides the number by the it divides the original value on the left side by the value on the right side, and then it returns whatever um, is over. So uh, five modulus three would equal two. Um, three modulus three is zero. Nine modulus three is zero. Ten modulus three is one. So same thing on the other side of the five and essentially by doing this, we're saying if this number is divisible by three or five, do something. And the thing that we want to do is just add um, that number. So whatever um, is stored in I, add that to sum. So um, after we've done that, we're going to loop through here every time. So if we're doing um, going up to 10, we're going to 3 through 9, we're going to see if it's modulus uh, 3 or 5, in which we'll get 3 
5, 6, and 9. Those numbers will multiply those 5, and it should return 23. So we're going to put our return statement right here. Return sum. Run our sample test. We should be good to go. We're not good to go. Um, I didn't put a parenthesis, a uh, semicolon here after the three, so to be able to run this again, and we're good. We're gonna attempt it to run the rest of the test, and we passed all the tests. Now, there's a couple different ways you can write this. I, I believe I spoke early in this video about high order functions. If I didn't, I apologize. I've recorded this video like three or four times now. Every single time, um, my iTunes opens up and plays music very loudly. Um, it's making me hate. ASAP Rocky right now, so or ASAP Ferg. So, um, but yeah, so we're in a we're in a decent spot here. This code is perfectly fine. It works. It runs. Um, I'm just gonna kind of theorize other ways we can do this. So of course, recently I've done videos on higher order functions, as I just stated, and um, even if I don't use something like for each or map here, I could uh still store the values of sum in an array. So instead of uh, having sum equal zero, I could have it um, be an empty array. Um, instead of uh, assigning i to sum, I could do something like sum dot push and then just push i into it. And then um, here, instead of returning sum, I should be able to just reduce sum, um, reduce every number inside of sum and return it. Um, I think that should, oh, so this is like horrible. Um, yeah, it should be like a accumulator, uh, and a value. I think I need to move this over here. And what is this return, uh, the accumulator plus the value here. I think this will run. This should work. If I'm not mistaken, I'll go ahead and test it. If it doesn't work, I'm not going to refactor it, to be honest. But <laughs> but it should be something like this. Uh, yeah, but that's the idea. You know, I said I was going to theorize it. I'm not going to actually perfect it. Um, if you feel like this is something you want to do, this is a good challenge for you to go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, wow, this actually looks like I should have it working, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not gonna fret about it. So, um, yeah, so I did it with a for loop. If you can figure out how to do this with for each or map, you can. I'm pretty sure if I um, kind of did my, uh, did some Googling on it, I could figure out how to iterate over it. I, I thought about it for a second. I was like, okay, well, if I take the number and, you know, kind of turn that number into an array and then iterate over it, I was like, well, I'm iterating over one index. Um, I don't have the range of those numbers. There has to be a way to figure it out, but not a big deal. Um, you know, a for loop works. Sometimes you just go to for loop and refactor later. Um, just keep that in mind. If you are a new developer and you're like, you know, oh, I don't really like the way this code looks or, you know, it seemed kind of gimmicky, that's fine. I mean, even after developing for years, I would imagine sometimes you write some code um, that's kind of gimmicky or you're like, oh, this isn't the best practice, and you refactor. Just get things working and then improve upon it. Um, and that's what I would do here if I, you know, wanted to kind of redo this whole um, solution. So I'm just going to actually control Z a bunch of times and submit this so um yeah so that's pretty much all i want to cover in this um cold wars cutter um if you want to go ahead and do this cutter yourself if this kind of jump starts you to um you know try this cutter out and try it like i said with high order functions or some other way that you know that you think is the best way to do it i would love for you to just go ahead and drop that in the comments or you can tweet your solution over to me um and let's see what you come up with. But um, yeah, uh, again, this is what I have. And I greatly appreciate you for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, I would ask that you please subscribe. Um, it really helps me with um, getting more people to the channel and um, helping more people uh, in their coding journey. If you are already subscribed, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I've been getting a lot of support from you guys and it's been amazing. Uh, if this video helped you in any way or even just kind of jump started you to just do more cutters. Um, you know, some people love these math cutters, so why not? Um, 
yeah, so just go ahead and uh, drop a like. I'm sorry. Drop a like if you like the video. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.